Welcome to the How to Play Hanging On guitar tutorial. Um, as you can tell, it's really, really pretty today, so I thought I would take you outside instead of sitting in my basement, as always. Okay, so I'm just going to warn you, Hanging On has a lot of chords in it, and I'm going to teach you every single one, so if you're an advanced guitar player, you might want to skip past this next section. And the chords you're going to need to know, A, or not the chord A. <laughs> a is G. If you don't know how to play G, you take your middle finger and put it on the third fret of the E string, right there. Your index finger on the second fret of the A string. And then your ring finger on the third fret of the B string. And your pinky finger on the third fret of the E string. That's how I play a G. The next chord you're going to need to know is D, and it's right here. Okay, now to play D, really easy, all you have to do is put your index finger on the second fret of the G string, your ring finger on the third fret of the B string, and your middle finger on the second fret of the E string. Very nice. It should sound like that if your guitar's in tune. <laughs> okay, third chord you're going to need to know. I don't know the name of, but this is how you play it. Um, you're going to put your ring finger and your pinky finger back where they were on the G, and then you're going to take your index finger and you're going to put it on the D string on the second fret. Right there. If you know what that chord is, Tell me and teach me something. All right, now uh, the next chord you're gonna need to know is a C add nine, I believe. And you're just gonna leave those two fingers in the same place and put your middle finger on the third fret of the A string. All right, should sound like that. Beautiful. <laughs> next chord you're going to need to know is a D minor. You play it by putting your middle finger on the G string on the second fret, your ring finger on the third fret on the B string, and your index finger on the first fret of the E string. Okay, that's what it should sound like. Hopefully. Um, now, this next chord is like my least favorite chord um, when I was learning to play the guitar because it's really hard to play. Um, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that big of a deal. But you're going to make yourself really mad trying to learn to play it, so don't get discouraged. It's the F chord. Yes. Oh, I'm clearing. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Easily distracted. Um, right here okay you're gonna put your ring finger on the third fret of the D string your middle finger on the second fret of the G string and you're gonna do a little mini bar right here on the first fret of the B and the E string that's the hard part but once you build the strength up in this finger it's not that big of a deal it's gonna sound like that probably to begin with so <laughs> it's okay but all right you're also going to need to know an a7 and you play an a7 with two fingers you put your middle finger on the D string on the second fret and your ring finger on the B string on the second fret and it should sound like this and I'm pretty sure this is the last chord you have to learn yay if you made it this far you're doing good if you haven't made it this far, then you're not listening, are you? <laughs> um, you make the E minor by putting your middle finger on the A string on the second fret and your ring finger on the second fret on the D string. And that's what it should sound like. You're also, one point in the song, going to play an actual major C, I forgot. Ring finger on the third fret on the A string, middle finger on the second fret on the D string, 
and your index finger on the first fret of the B string. Okay, so you know all of the chords for the song hanging on now. As far as the strumming pattern, it's a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's good. So just start slow. It might change up a little bit if you're playing along with my version on YouTube because I don't really think about my right hand much. Honestly, I should think about it more than I do, but I don't. Um, but the basic strumming pattern for hanging on is down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Yay! Okay, so the whole intro, you're going to use your strumming pattern, obviously, and you're going to play G, down, up, up, and then when you go to down again, you change to D, down, up, up, down, and then to the chord that we don't know the name of. Down, up, up, and then when you change to downs, when you change again to the C add nine. Down, up, up, down. Okay? I'm gonna do it again. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down. 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 Okay? So you do that twice, and that's the intro. That's it. Simple. And then the whole verse is the exact thing over and over, so. I can't tell you how I really feel Cause I'm not even sure I know I never really thought it come changes up in the pre-chorus. You're going to go to the D minor, remember it? All of the silly things we F said while walking in the rain. Back to G. Don't matter much anymore, D. D minor. I thought we would always stay friends forever in some way, but C major, the one I almost forgot. <laughs> That's not the case. A7. Oh, and now it's time for the chorus. And it starts on G. I know you never see me be. My heart keeps breaking. E minor, C, D. And I did forget a chorus. Shame on me. <laughs> a minor is just in the chorus. It's right here. You just put your middle finger on the second fret of the D string, your ring finger on the second fret of the G string, and your index finger on the first fret of the B string. Should sound like that, okay? So back to the chorus. I look at you, A minor, C, you look away, A minor, my mind tells me go, my heart D tells me stay, down from the add nine, all you're doing is moving this one note down. Which that's going to take a little practice, so don't get too frustrated. Um, and then A minor. Uh, hanging on. Back to the turnaround. The second verse is the same as the first. And then the whole little bridge part just goes to A7. On C. I'm hanging. A7. And D. And then the end is just I'm hanging on. Two big strums. So that's it. You can play hanging on now. Hopefully. <laughs> If I explained everything okay. And if I didn't, if you have any questions, as always, please just email me, uh, Kata and the Blaze at yahoo.com. I'll put it in the little sidebar. Or is it the. I don't know which way it is. So if you did learn to play it, it'd be really cool if you made a video and posted it as a response to this to let me know that this actually helped somebody. I guess that's it for now. Until next time, America. Bye. <laughs>